Good morning, Sagittarius. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your tarot reader today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so Sagittarius, this is going to be your birthday month, obviously, but it's also, um, it's, sorry, I, my, I basically like just woke up, but it's whatever, you know, I'm, just still getting the groove of it. But either way, this is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign. Uh, not all messages will resonate, but take what resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, um, when I was meditating on your energy, I was like getting like stressful. So your birthday month may be a bit stressful for you. Um, so... You may need to just, you may want to just be a little bit more relaxed and not really worry about much. It is your birthday month, so, which means, you know, you should just have fun. You know, do what, you know, is going to be best for you. All right, so we're going to do two more shuffles and then we'll get right into your reading. All right, so yeah. I believe I already said this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign, but I'll say it again just in case. All right, this is a general reading, so not all messages will resonate, but just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Okay, Sagittarius, you got the Hermit Reverse, the Queen of Cups Reverse, and the Star card. So you're feeling a bit lost and. When it comes to your emotions, you are kind of just, like, all over the place. There's no, like, grounded area. You, and you're kind of, like, stressed about money uh, during the uh, month of December or your birthday month. Um, and it's just, like, really stressful for you because, like, maybe money is tight for you right now and it... It's not where you want to be, so that's why you're kind of, like, all over the place and lost. Um, but your wishes are coming true, so you are starting to be a bit more balanced in where you are going. But you for, like, maybe the first half of December or, like, half of the first half of December, you're going to be a bit lost and it's going to... Uh, take some time for you to regain your balance because you, by the end of this, if you are looking at this, like from left to right, um, you know, you got, you're lost, you're like kind of lost, but you, you're kind of just like stressed about money. And then you got the star card, your wishes come true. Like you become balanced. You're very nurturing, uh, Maybe you find out that um, you are you're going to be like a mother or a father, and it's going to really stress you out because you're worried about like how are we going to pay for the child? Like we barely have enough money for rent and stuff like that. But just trust the process, and it's because it's all going to work out in your favor. All right. So we're going to pull some more cards. And see what other cards come out for you guys. So you could be dealing with a Libra or an Aquarius or a Virgo or Cancer <laughs> or Taurus or a Sagittarius. But that is also your card. So a Leo. Um, because uh, for this is a fire energy. There's uh, lions in the background. So that's Leo. But it's Sagittarian energy because it's like I don't know it's it's a it's a Sagittarian card for me so yeah <laughs> okay so yeah this you gotta really focus on being balanced maybe there's some court decisions being made for you um and it kind of feels like an injustice but at the same time you know you gotta do what they say you can't um. You can't really go against what they say because it is the final outcome. It, 
it may feel like you're not winning, it's your like birthday month and you're not getting a victory, but you just gotta relax, do what they tell you and everything will be all right, you know? If you gotta pay a little money or if you gotta pay some child support, go pay some child support, you'll be all right. You'll be able to see your child if you have a child already. Um, but yeah, this month is all about being balanced, being like, don't stress out too much because you already know that you're going through it all. So, and Scorpio season just ended. So, you know, there was a lot of changes in Scorpio season and now, you know, in Sagittarius season, Sagittarian season, Sagittarius. Sagittarius season, um, we, it's all about, like, sticking to those changes that we made or we started in Scorpio season, like, really focusing on, <laughs> really focusing on what we did in Scorpio season and trying to approve upon it, and now we don't have uh, Mercury retrograde here, so we can really just go full throttle into what we need to do, all right? Um, so you have the Four of Wands here and the Empress card here. So new doors may be opening for you. So maybe, maybe when this door closes, there's going to be a door opening for you. But just be careful because there are two doors here. You have the Empress and you have the Queen of Wands. So you could be... Um, you could find yourself getting, uh, someone pregnant, or you may be finding out that someone from your past that you slept with is pregnant, and, you know, that's why you are stressing over here about not having money, or maybe you're stressing about a court s situation, like, maybe because they might, um, try to get child support from you because they know you are the father and you know you are the father and that's why you're all stressed but just relax everything's going to work out all right and then you have the queen of wands here so when i'm getting when i look at the queen of wands i kind of just i see some like someone that's not going to like put up with bullshit and is going to really focus on like themselves and moving forward but if they have to they will focus on someone else if they feel it is necessary this person also has a sunflower so maybe uh you're in a this person likes sunflowers um yeah i'm getting like strong sunflowers maybe their favorite flower is like a sunflower I don't know, but I'm getting that, like, strongly. Or maybe your f favorite flower is a sunflower. But uh, if you do have two options, you may um, have to choose between someone from your past because they are your baby mama or whatever, or choose someone new because it's what you feel like is the best decision for you. Try like... Just because you got someone pregnant doesn't mean you have to stay with that person. You know, it's good to support them and their child, but you still got to live your life. You got to do what's best for you. If you don't feel like um, being with that, like your baby mama and your child is going to be what's best for you, then, you know, that's that, you know, you got to. Just keep moving forward and choose someone else. Um, but and you can still support your child without being with uh, their baby mama. It may be harder, and you know that their your baby mama or their baby mama is may uh, um, may hate you for it, but. You know, you got to really, like, go to a standpoint with it, you know. You got to focus on what's best for you and, you know, got to go from there. All right. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Not really going anywhere. I just got to. 
do that. So, I don't know why, but whenever I do a reading, my nose starts running, and, you know, that's... I don't want you guys to see that, so I just... I get the tissue over there, and I just wipe my nose real quick. <laughs> Alright, so... And that could indicate that it was... It probably still is flu season, so um, that may indicate that you or whoever you are dealing with uh, could have a cold. Um, so just be careful with that. Take your medicine if you need it. But uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to pull two clarifiers and then go from there. If I need to pull more cards, I will. All right, so you got the Ten of Pentacles. That's pretty good. For someone that has an Injustice card right here, having a Ten of Pentacles is really good. That's a happy home, happy life, very stable, very secure, and, you know, balanced, you know? That is very good. And then you have Judgment here. So you may, uh, this may be a judgment call that you are needing to make. Do you want a happy home, happy life, uh, you know, with your child and all that, you know, or do you want to make a judgment call and go with this queen of wands? You know, you it's up to you on what you want to do. You could be dealing with a Libra, a Taurus, or a uh, Leo Sagittarius. All right. One more card. Yeah, you're really waiting on, um, you're waiting on something, you're, or they're waiting on you to make a decision because, uh, it's really going to impact their lives as well as yours. So, um, whatever you say is going to be the deciding factor. All right. So let's get some advice for Sagittarius. Also, happy birthday. I know I didn't say that before. So, um, yeah, happy birthday, Sagittarians. I'm also a Sagittarian moon. So there's that. But <laughs> I'm a uh, Cancer uh, sun. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sagittarius, Sagittarius. All right, so let's see what chakras you got going on. Sagittarian, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. All right. My hair is like a mess right now. I tried, like, I don't know. I can't use gel in my hair. Like, if I put gel in my hair, I got to, like, slick it back or, like, I got to push one side of my hair to the side and it's just it doesn't look right i don't know i don't know i like it when it's just like there's you don't need any gel and it's just it flows naturally it doesn't get in your face it you know it's just it's like perfect <laughs> but i mean i guess it takes practice for that to happen you know you gotta really grow your hair out. And yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Inner child. So you may have some uh, healing you have to do, or this could portray to uh, you having a child or this person having a child inside them. All right. Um, personal power. So it's you so it's up to you if you want to stand in your personal power and choose someone else that is your decision all right no one can force you to make a decision that you don't want to make so whatever is coming your way it looks like it's going to be good for you you may have some things in the court system that you got to deal with but other than that your chakras are, uh, your heart chakra and your sacral chakra are just like 
going to be flowing during your birthday month, or at least the first half of it. Uh, let's see what advice cards the angels have for Sagittarius, Sagittarian, Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sun. Wow, I really don't like to mess up, so when I mess up, I really just, I don't know. When I mess up, it makes me smile because I'm awkward. <laughs> but, uh, and when I'm awkward, I laugh. So it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and who doesn't like a smile, you know? We all like smiling. It makes the world a better place when you smile. You know? It makes you forget about all the bad things in the world. All right. So what do the angels have for Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sun? Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a bad shuffle. That was a bad shuffle. It's early in the morning. I can't believe it's already 6 o'clock. I've been up since 4. <laughs> uh, you know, when you can't sleep, you might as well do some readings, right? Don't waste no time. No time. No time wasted. All right. Goddess of compassion. Self-criticism is diminishing your sense of wor of self-worth. All right. So try not to be so, um, like, judgmental to yourself. Like, you want to give yourself some self-love, and that's where this inner child comes in where you got to heal your inner child, you know, just because you're not getting the love you need, you got to provide that love for yourself. Because once you like love yourself, then everyone around you is going to love you because you love yourself. You know, no one wants to love someone that hates themselves. I mean, we do it. But you know, we'd rather love someone that loves themselves. That way, we don't have to put in as much work. You know, you know, loving someone that hates themselves is just going to, like, drain the other person. And, you know, it's not an equal give and take, you know. Unless both of them hate themselves and, you know, they love each other, which I guess would work. But it's just a lot of work, for sure. Um, Angel of Space Clearing. It is time to clear old negative thoughts and feelings. So yeah, get rid of all those negative thoughts. Get rid of like anything that's negative, anything that no longer serves in your energy. And just, you know, it's, it's your birthday month. It's almost a new year. It's a new you. All right? Just get rid of all the ne all the negative stuff that happened in 2019. Get rid of all that bad energy. Like, here, here I'm a sage for you guys, just to help you guys get. And I'm gonna use a Sagittarian lighter. I'm a sage for you guys, just to get rid of all that bad energy. And to really just focus on the good stuff, because this is your month. And you deserve an amazing time. So, it didn't really uh, light that well, but, you know, it's lit a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, just get rid of all that bad energy. Plus, I saged when, before I started the reading. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so, Sagittarians... <laughs> Now that you say, or now that I've saged uh, your reading a little bit more, um, we're just getting rid of all that bad energy and all that sage is like all over my table now. So, <laughs> um, but either way, that's going to be your reading. I hope you guys resonated with this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And namaste. If you haven't already, check out my uh, Twitter if you would like a private reading or more personal reading um just message message me on there and i will be happy to give you a reading on there and that's it i'll see you guys next time peace